Hey, what's up, everybody? Gamer Pro 8000 here, and welcome back to another reaction about SML. Where I'm going to react to their new video, and that happens to be Junior Goes to Jupiter. Okay, I see where this is going at, and this is also another space video. Yeah, I did not forget about the last one. Like, the moon was fake and all of it was fake. And yeah, they had to do all that for acting. To actually believe that everyone's date is for real, but is not. If any of you see me react to that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or you've seen the video already. Anyways, I gotta ask all your study. Do any of you ever want to go to space? To actually visit planets? To step on them? Or now you have also see the Earth? Way over there, right? Yeah, imagine that. Imagine seeing that. Imagine seeing your own Earth in your own eyes. Is that seen on TV or even a group of it? Yeah. If I was in space, I would be surprised too to actually see the real Earth in front of me. If I'm in space, like that would be crazy. Imagine I see some other planets. Oh man, yeah, that would be insane. Yeah. Or do whatever you want in space, like, yes, there's gravity, yeah, you can literally jump in gravity, or even pretend you're flying in gravity. Yeah, that would be fun, that would be fun. And also not only that, but whatever you can do in space, yeah, it's the right with you, but yeah, you gotta watch out. If there's anything that you can't do in space, you may, you need to watch out for. Yep, including... Need a helmet to breathe because if you even take off your helmet, you really just gonna die. And also the echoing that you can do in space. I mean, nobody will be able to hear you from all the way to space. I mean, you can shout wherever you want, and no one will be able to hear you. Like any curse words or anything else that you really just get out of your mind. Even including your secrets. Yeah, imagine that. I mean, yeah, space will be all right. And imagine you could literally find something in the planet that you can actually keep for yourself but if it's also fucking dangerous then don't bring it with you i mean that would be a completely bad idea plus if you need mature space you feel like that you're actually just losing consciousness and now that but you also doesn't feel like you're on space for that long because you'll feel like you're about to fall you're about to literally just try to fly but you literally just gonna break yourself yep imagine that Anyways, also you can leave your answers in the comments if you want. Either yes or no, I will accept your answers, okay? I like it. Anyways, before we get straight to this video, I just need you all to do me a huge favor. And that's it, like this video. And most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell where you're at. Thank you all so much. I appreciate that. Now let's get straight into this video and see how this goes. So guys, what do you want to do today? Oh dude, you know the NBA Finals is on tonight. Yeah, let's watch basketball. Oh, I just love watching sweaty guys run around and put balls in holes. You know what's crazy? Whoever puts the most balls in holes wins. It's awesome. Penelope, you want to watch basketball with us? No, Junior. I don't have time to watch TV. I have to read my book on how to be a millionaire fast. Girls can't be millionaires unless their name is Oprah. Ooh, my black queen. You know what, Junior? I will be a millionaire by the time I graduate college. Yeah, right. Like you're going to college. Yes, huh, Junior? Girls go to college to get more knowledge and boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Wait a minute. We get to go to Jupiter? What? She just said boys go to Jupiter so we can actually go? I thought Jupiter was a gas giant. How would we land on there? We can't. But she just said boys go to Jupiter and she's reading a book so obviously she's smart. So what are you what, what are you talking about? We can go to Jupiter right now? <laughs> yeah, Junior. Yeah, yeah. Totally go to Jupiter, Junior, because that's possible. Good luck with that. <laughs> Guys, you just heard Penelope say it's possible for us to go to Jupiter. I think she just said boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider because it rhymed. No, no, no. She wasn't reading Dr. Seuss. She was reading a smart book. I think she knows what she's talking about. Guys, I did not know boys could go to Jupiter. Is that what they do in Boy Scouts? No. Because I would have joined Boy Scouts and got touched to go to Jupiter. Oh, yeah, just to go to space, definitely. Yeah, we get to go to Jupiter? Like, no one tells us like tells us stuff like this. Like, they always said that we have to go to college, but they never told us that Jupiter is an option. They always hide the good stuff, dude. I know. How the hell are we supposed to go to Jupiter? I don't know, but apparently... 
we all get to go to Jupiter because we're boys. I, I think I think Jupiter's better than college. Uh, definitely. Yeah, I'm gonna call NASA and ask them how we get our ticket to Jupiter. Hey there, somebody call an astronaut? We did. Wait, why are you wearing your helmet if you're not in space? Oh, well, I don't really get to go to space very often, so I just wear this helmet so I can feel cool. Why don't you get to go to space? I thought that's all astronauts got to do. No, see, we don't really have the same funding that we used to, so I only really get to wear the spacesuit whenever I'm doing kids' birthday parties or somebody paid to have lunch with an astronaut. Is, is that what we're doing here? We having lunch? Because please, no chicken salad. I'm still full from all the chicken salad I had earlier for another kid's lunch. Oh, and no grapes, too, because he kept wanting me to eat grapes with him, and grapes hurt my stomach, so no grapes. So we have a lunch or what? No, we want to go to Jupiter. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, planets are fun. No, like we want to go in a space shuttle and go to Jupiter. I mean, hey, you can go anywhere in your imagination. No, like we really actually want to go to Jupiter because there's a saying that says boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Oh, yeah, I think I've heard that. Yeah, so we want to go to Jupiter. Well, you can't. Look, we know you got to get touched to go to outer space, so uh, what's up? Yeah, I'll pull my pants down right now. Just touch it, I'll go to space. What are you talking about? The Boy Scouts, they get touched, they get to go to space. No, they don't. Well, well then how did the guy from Subway go to space? He didn't go to space, he went to prison. Well, listen, we want to go to Jupiter because apparently a bunch of boys have been to Jupiter to get more stupider and if they got to go we want to go too. I assure you nobody has been to Jupiter. Thank you. Okay, well, then why can't we go to Jupiter? Why do they say the stupider line? Well, because it rhymes. Thank you. Okay, listen, I bet you there's boys on Jupiter right now you just don't want to send us. No, look, I could put all your asses on a space shuttle and just kind of shoot it at Jupiter. That's a thing I could do, but I'm not going to do that. Why like, won't you do it? Because you can't? You, you're, not allowed, you're, not, like, you're not a high enough astronaut to do that? No, I can, I can uh, do fine. it. Fine, if you're not cool enough, you can't do it. No, I can, I can send you. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, I'll send all of you to Jupiter. Sure, let's go to Jupiter. Everybody wants to go to Jupiter? Come on, let's go to Jupiter. Follow me. Let's go, guys. Yes. Really? You about to take them all the way up to Jupiter to actually get more stupid, bro? Oh man, this is such a waste of time. And not only that, but this is also fucking stupid. I mean, going all the way up to Jupiter, they really want to get more stupid. Like, come on. I mean, yes. And I remember the saying goes, yes. I remember hearing that back in elementary school or even middle school. Like, someone's saying that. Yeah, boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. I thought that's the kind of thing that pisses us off, but it was just saying also the rhyming thing, so I get it. But imagine no one else gets it, they'll be pissed off. And also, I don't think any of the planets are very safe to stay in. The only planet that is the safest for us to live in and stay in is Earth right here. And I'm really happy that all of us here, that we live on Earth, or we were born here on Earth, and would not go to any planet at all for us to die faster. Because that would be fucking terrible. It's either the Earth or the Moon for you to survive in, and you won't be able to die fast. Anyway, let's we'll see if they're actually going out to space to go to Jupiter. All right, welcome to a room in the Kennedy Space Center. So you can tell that's where we are because of the space background. You know, I actually made that myself. I bought a black sheet from Walmart and then I hung it up on a wall and then I cut some stars out of yellow construction paper and then I taped them up there. My manager said it was pretty neat. He said, I'd give you a gold star, but it looks like you made some yourself. And that made me feel pretty good. I had my head held up high for the rest of the day. And don't tell anybody, but he gave me extra apple slices in the cafeteria and Cleotis didn't get any. Cleotis is the jam and he has to clean up my construction paper mess. So you really don't go to space, do you? No, it's all pretty much just arts and crafts and lunches. It's a lot like preschool. Oh, well, can we please go to Jupiter, please? Yeah, okay, I just need you guys to sign these waivers and um, don't read them. Like, seriously, don't. Like, please, please do not read them. And while you guys are signing those, I'll go get your spacesuits ready. Oh, okay. All right, guys, let's sign these things. <laughs> Okay, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is my manager says I get 30 extra minutes of recess after lunch. But the bad news is I only have two spacesuits, so that means one of you can't go. Oh, it's all good, homie. I read the waiver anyway, and I'm not going. What, Joseph, you're not gonna go to space? Hell no, dude. Black people aren't meant to be in space. Oh, because we wouldn't be able to see you. Nah, that's not it, but I'll let you think that. Uh, read the waiver, dude. <laughs> Bye. Well, I already signed the waiver. I don't care. I want to go to Jupiter. Okay, let's get you in these spacesuits. Come on, Cody, let's get on. Wow, you guys look good in those spacesuits. Let me just take these waivers from you. So Jupiter, huh? Yeah, I'm really excited. How long is it going to take for us to get to Jupiter? Oh, not long. I mean, it's just going to be like a trip down to the local grocery store. So like six years. Six years? Yeah. Wait, it's really going to take six years to get to Jupiter? Yeah, Jupiter's like 363 million billion gajillion quatillion miles away, and you're going to be traveling at 17,000 thousand 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 miles per hour. So yeah, like six years. What, Junior, what are we going to do for six years? Well, I could bring up 
bunch of movies and snacks. We could have like a movie night for six years. Mm, that does sound pretty fun. Look, I'll go grab some movies and some snacks. Yeah, make sure you get everything you need before you get in the space shuttle. Oh man, Cody, I'm so excited. Oh, Junior, six years. It's still not too late to back out. We're not backing out, Cody. We're gonna go to Jupiter to get more stupider. I still don't know why we want to get more stupider. Because everyone else has been to Jupiter except for us, and we need to go. <sighs> but what are we gonna do for six years? I brought a bunch of movies and snacks, Cody. We're gonna have a blast. Okay. All right, kids, the space shuttle is fueled up and ready to go for your six-year journey. So you ready for takeoff? Yeah, we're ready! All right, you'll be taking off in three, two, one, lift off! <laughs> Congratulations, boys, you've now reached outer space. Oh, wow, Cody, look, we're in outer space! Yeah, I guess this begins our six-year journey to Jupiter. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. You wanna put on a movie? Yeah, let me grab the movie. Wait, the movie? Yep, yeah, here it is. Wait, what is this? It's the movie I brought. Max Keeble's Big Move? Yeah. Okay, well, what else did you bring? That's it. What? That's it? Our only movie is Max Keeble's Big Move? Well, I was looking for movies at a short notice, and the only movie I could find was Max Keeble's Big Move. Junior, we left Earth for six years, and the only thing you brought to entertain us was Max Keeble's Big Fucking Move? Okay, Cody, listen, calm down. It's a, good, it's a really good movie. So, Max Keeble, right, he's bullied and stuff, and his parents tell him he's moving to, like, a whole other city. So he thinks he can get back at all his bullies, so he does a bunch of bad stuff, thinking he'll never see those people again. But guess what? At the end, his parents tell him they're not not moving and he has to deal with the consequences. Uh oh. Yeah, great. So now when I watch it for the next six years, it won't even be a surprise. Look, Cody, Max Keeble's big move is a really good movie. Junior, Max Keeble's big move for six fucking years? His move isn't that big, Junior. It can't be. Look, pop in Max Keeble's big move and you're gonna see how good it is. Oh, it better be perfect. Is everything okay up there? I hear yelling. Yeah, everything's okay in here. Oh, yeah, we're just peachy because we decided to leave Earth for six years and the only movie Junior thought to bring was Max fucking Keeble's big fucking move. It's a good movie, I promise. Also, I really have to pee. Where's the bathroom on the space shuttle? Oh, I forgot to tell you kids to pee before you left, because there are no bathrooms in there. Maybe find a bottle or something? Oh, wow. Not only you can't use the bathroom, but he decided to get one goddamn movie. Are you fucking kidding me, Junior? Like, fuck you. I hate you so much. And also... To be honest, I never seen that movie before, but if any of you have seen it before, how was it? Is it good or bad? Leave your answer in the comments because I'm getting feeling that all these movies, most popular movies, are way better than this one. I mean, like, come on. Can't pick any other movies from this year or even last year, the most popular ones that everyone has already known, and they enjoy them so very much. And also, I gotta look up at the end of the video that it takes that long for you to go all the way up to Jupiter or any other planets in freaking six years or more than that. Like, that would be crazy. I'd rather back down if I were you. Like, imagine how old you'd be feeling like if you get there. Imagine you'll literally just change. You got no choice but to forget about Earth or what you stay in there for that long. Like, that would be crazy. Oh, there are no... Bathrooms. I'll just hold it, Cody. It's gonna be fine. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I think you can just hold it, Junior. I think you can just hold it for six fucking years. Yeah! Yeah! Just go, go ahead and try to hold it, Junior. Junior, do you know what our reality is gonna be for the next six years? We are going to be watching Max Cable's big move while we piss and shit our pants. That's hell. That's what hell looks like. We are in hell right now. I would rather be in a North Korean work camp than this, because at least they have bathrooms. I, I think. But they don't have Max Keeble's big move. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess we are winning on that front, are we, Junior? <clears throat> Look, just watch Max Keeble's big move. The movie will cheer you up, I promise, buddy. Oh, good. So, Cody, what'd you think of Max Keeble's big move? It wasn't fucking big enough, I'll tell you that. It wasn't six years big. It wasn't that big of a move, Junior. It's a good movie, Cody. It was okay, but if you told me I could only watch one movie for the next six years of my life, it wouldn't be Max Keeble's big move. That wouldn't even be in the top 10,000 list of movies. It's in my top 25. No, no, it shouldn't be. You need to watch more movies, which we could have been doing for the next six goddamn years. Okay, look, I think you're just hungry and you need to eat. What did you bring to eat? I brought a pepperoni pizza. 
A pizza? Yeah. One pizza. Yeah. Junior, you needed to bring us food for the next six years. This isn't going to last us one year or one month or even one week. Once again, I was in a rush. I didn't have time. Oh, yeah, you were in a rush. You were clearly in a rush. You grabbed one pizza and one copy of Matt Stable's big fucking move. Should I have grabbed two copies of it? No! You, you should have done literally anything else. Okay, look, 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 look. look. Oh, there has to be more food in here. <gasps> look at this, Cody. Look, uh, uh, under the cupboard thing. It says right here. 12 years worth of raisins? <gasps> Look, they even overpacked raisins in case we get super hungry. 12 years? What's wrong? Junior, I just realized something and now I'm even more upset. What? It's gonna take us six years to get to Jupiter. And it's gonna take us another six years to come home. That's 12 years of Max fucking Gable's big fucking move! Junior, I can't do it. I can't take 12 years of Max Gable. My, my Max Gable, my Max Max Gable was six years. I can't do 12 years, Junior. I'm gonna die up here. Literally just eat some raisins and calm down. I don't wanna eat any goddamn raisins, Junior. I don't wanna be here. I wanna, I wanna leave. And I can't even hang myself because there's no gravity. Oh, and then we didn't bring a gun either. No! Okay, look, look. Let's just turn on the behind the scenes to Max Keeble. Are you sure, Junior? Are you sure you want to do that now? Maybe we should do it next year, or the year after, or the year after that, or the year after that! Well, the movie just ended. I think that's our 1,000th time watching Max Keeble's big move. Keeble. Max Keeble. You okay, Cody? Me with Keeble. Oh, you want me to restart it? Yeah, yeah, Keeble it up. You know, Junior, I tried to claw my eyes out a year ago, but that didn't work. Oh, I know, I can, I can tell that, buddy. You want to roleplay Max Keeble again? Oh, we've already roleplayed Max Keeble five times today. But what else do we have to do? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll be Max Keeble, you be my parents. All right. Mom, Dad, I'm getting bullied at school. Well, your dad got a new job in another city, so we're going to move. Oh, cool. I guess that means I can do whatever the fuck I want with no consequences, because nobody's going to know where I am after I move. Hey, Max, we're not moving anymore. Oh shit. I ruined my whole life. I'm Max Keeble. Yeah. Hey, you want another box of raisins? Sure. Why not? That's all I know. I don't even remember the taste of the pizza we had in the first two days. You remember the pizza time, Junior? The beautiful pizza time in the first two days? I remember, buddy. I missed that. Oh my god. I'm really feeling bad for Cody here. I mean, if it takes really that long to actually get to Jupiter or all the way back to Earth, then, man, this has to be freaking stupid as hell. And not only that, but this is also insane that you had to stay there for that long until you reach the planet. I mean, like, come on. I mean, they're literally repeating the same movie and they bought one pizza? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, this has to be freaking stupid as hell. But if I was in space, I would be feeling bored as hell. Maybe I won't be able to be the same ever again. But hey, if any of y'all are still interested in going to space just like Neil Armstrong did, then be my guest. Go ahead. But if it let you stay there that long or spend all that years to actually go up to this planet, then yeah, go ahead. Have fun in there. Or have fun up there, I meant to say. Keeble, Keeble. Max Keeble? Keeble, Max. Max Keeble. Max Keeble, Keeble. Keeble, Max, big. Big move, Keeble. Max Keeble. Big, big Keeble move. Keeble Max. Keeble big. Big move. Keeble big move, -o Max. Max Meeble. Max Meeble move, -o Meeble Mig Biggle. Keeble Max move. Keeble Miggle Biggle Wiggle. Oh my god, there's a ship coming towards Jupiter! We'll have to lose our tractor beam to intercept it to bring him on board and find out who to love. <laughs> Big Keeble Max move? Big Max Keeble move. Move, move, Max Keeble. Big Keeble move. Uh, 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 Keeble Max big? Max Keeble? Big move. Big move. Ah, Max Keeble big move! What are you guys doing near Jupiter? Really guard Jupiter to make sure no one gets too close, cause the dust makes you stupid. Well, Keeble's big move. Keeble Max move. Max is Keeble's move. They're speaking some kind of weird language. Uh, Max Keeble's big move. Big Keeble move. Listen, if you guys don't have anything to show us that's to prove they're not space pirates, I'm gonna have to vaporize both of you. Uh, Keeble's big move, Max. Big Keeble big move. Max Ma move. Max Keeble's big move. We're gonna stop. Max Keeble's big move. Let me see this. Max Keeble's big move. Big move. Laugh out loud, funny. Keeble, Keeble. Max Keeble. I wanna laugh.
You know what? Since you guys gave me something cool, I'm gonna go ahead and teleport you back to the home plum. <gasps> big move! No, Max Meeble. No, Max, Max Keeble, Max Keeble, Max Keeble, no! Max 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 Keeble's move! Max Meeble's move! Big move, Keeble! Big Keeble move! Max Keeble! Max Meeble Keeble! Max Meeble Keeble! Max Meeble Keeble! Max Meeble Keeble! Max Keeble? Big move, Keeble? Keeble, Keeble! I mean, we're home! Oh my god, Cody! We're finally home after six years! Look at the red couch! <sighs> Junior, you know what this means? I can finally take a shower and wash all the shit that's been caked on my ass for the last six years. And we can eat something other than raisins! And I can finally watch something other than Max Keeble's big move! But now that I'm home, I think I really just want to watch Max Keeble's big move and eat raisins and shit my pants. Okay, Cody, we can do it one last time, but then we have to stop, okay? Okay, put on Max Keeble's big move. Uh, Cody? What? The aliens have the only copy of Max Keeble's big move. No! No! Uh, Junior, I need my Max Keeble! I don't know how to live without Max Keeble's big move! No! Keeble! Oh jeez, now Koei is literally addicted to that movie. That is not good. Oh man. But I'm really glad they all came back from from space because I did not want them to go there. I mean, they were this close to going to Jupiter, but I'm really glad that ended because if they went to Jupiter, they will literally just die. So thank you for the aliens on that one. But what a video this was. I mean, the only part that literally got me crazy about is they literally just go up to Jupiter. And they were this close to even go there and go back to Earth for freaking 12 years. I mean, that's completely crazy. Oh, jeez. Yep. If we all would go up to the planet that we all want to visit and go all the way back to Earth. Oh, man. Imagine we wouldn't be the same. Imagine we'll be like Cody right now. I mean, we have no choice but to get that out of our heads. Like, imagine it won't go away. We have no choice but to dream about it or even feel like that we're in space right now. Wow. Yeah, this is why I'm not interested in going to space at all because that's something to do with that. Then, no thank you. I mean, again, I won't be able to feel the same anymore. I was doing a completely different person that doesn't care about anything else at all. But no choice but to actually think I'm up in space right now. Yep, imagine that. Imagine space will change us. But imagine how fun it will be if you actually take pictures of what you're seeing. Like anything might be cool, like imagine you see a comet. Imagine you actually see the, the Earth. And now you see all the other plans or anything else that is interesting for you to show to your friends and family. Yeah, they will be psyched that you actually have fun in space. Uh-huh. But imagine you had to go through all of that. I mean, all of that to actually survive there. But I wish you had fun. So, yeah. They're going to think you had fun there. But if you are still interested in going up to space or not, yeah. Answer the comments. It's okay. I like it. Anyways. I'm just gonna start right here, so I'll be still in the next video by SML. But till then, you'll have a nice day out there, and I'll be still later, alright? So, peace out, stay proud, everyone.